If you want the best AI tools for YouTube, these are the ones that have literally saved us over 100 hours from scripting to recording and editing our videos. Our first AI tool is actually an audio tool. If your audio ever sounds echoey, thin, or just be on repair if you're dealing with really bad audio, then Adobe Podcast Enhance can actually save your audio and make it usable. So all you gotta do to use this tool is upload your bad audio onto Adobe Podcast Enhance, click the Enhance button, it'll spend a few minutes and it will remove the background noise, add clarity, balance out your voice, and make it sound like it's coming from a more podcast style microphone. Hey, Sam here, the lead designer on Adobe Podcast and uh, I'm out here in front of some construction by the Adobe New York City Union Square office and just, just recording this video to give you a little sample to try out enhanced speech. Uh, so try turning it on, turning it off, uh, and adjusting the strength slider to see how it does at uh, canceling out the background noise and enhancing my voice. Now, this isn't something that I would use for every single video but it is a lifesaver in moments when you have no other way but to fix your audio. Now our next tool is called Eleven Labs, and this one is a little bit niche, but it's a very powerful tool. Eleven Labs allows you to generate natural sounding voiceovers, or even like pickup lines that you forgot to record, and even yes, you can clone your own voice, which is super strange. So basically if you mess up or catch a mistake in your edit and you want to re-record those lines without actually having to reshoot it yourself, you can literally type it into 11 labs and then it will handle the rest. It will replicate your voice or somebody else's voice. So you can insert that into an edit. So I actually use 11 labs to replace Sean's voice. He did a video called, if I started a YouTube channel in 2023, this is what I would do. And so I actually went in and replaced 2023 and updated it to 2026. And I spent a few minutes trying to finessing until it sounded just like him. But within a few minutes, I got something that worked really well. And that is a huge time saver for someone on our team where Shad doesn't have to re-record the video because all the information still applies. So it is a super handy tool. You can just type out exactly what you want to say. And it sounds like if you were speaking it, which is super cool. So pricing for 11 labs is based on a credit system and it's actually free for individuals up to about 10,000 credits per month, which I believe has to do with the amount of text that you're giving the software. So you don't wanna do pages and pages of information. Otherwise you will have to go up to one of their paid plans. Start They start as cheap as like five bucks a month for 30,000 credits and then the pricing goes up from there. Now our next software has to deal with recording workflows and even like post-production workflows for creating videos and that software is Riverside. It's one that we've actually talked about a ton at Think Media and they're a partner of this channel as well. And we're actually using Riverside right now on the back end to host this conversation of Nate and I recording this podcast. But Riverside has actually quietly built a whole AI suite of AI tools in their platform to help with the entire production process. So planning your videos, publishing your content, and even editing your content all with inside the Riverside dashboard. And they're not even the sponsor of today's video, but some of their tools are so cool. Like they have like AI one-click audio cleanup using Magic Audio. Just click a button and your audio is gonna sound a whole lot better, similar to what Adobe's Audio Podcast Enhance does, but it does it inside of Riverside. They also have this cool, what they call a co-creator assistant. And this is kind of like having almost like chat GPT inside of Riverside to help you with your podcast packaging. You can even ask it to like, hey, I want some titles for my podcast idea that I just recorded. It can do that and give you a bunch of packaging ideas. And you can even host your podcast with Riverside. It's a really cool tool. Lots of different AI features that you can leverage with this platform. What I also like about Riverside is that there are several AI editing tools. So it will automatically generate short clips for your videos, but also help you edit your long form video. So there is an AI producer that will give you notes if you repeated something and it will suggest what you can remove. So some really handy features. If you're not an editor and you do a lot of podcasts, this is a great tool that not only helps you record, but also edit your video as well. Now, another tool to speed up your editing workflow is actually one of my favorites, and that is today's sponsor, Gling. Gling allows you to upload your talking head video and it will automatically remove bad takes, deletes long pauses and cut out filler words from your video. And what I really like about it is you can edit your video like a Word document. So you can highlight a certain text, press delete, 
and it will make that edit for you. And for someone who like myself where this is my full-time job, this alone saves me hours on every single video that I do because within a few minutes, it gives me a nice rough cut of my video and then I can export that into an editing program of my choice, let's say DaVinci Resolve, and then I can fine tune the edit. And then so from there, I can begin placing my B-roll, music, graphics, and I have all the creativity I want to do, but Gling has done all the tedious time consuming part. So if you wanna get started with Gling, you can actually try it for free and see how much time it will save you. Just click the link in the description down below. So now maybe you have a fully finished video ready to post, but maybe you want to repurpose that piece of content in new ways. And there are a couple tools that can actually do this for you, specifically for social media content. There's a couple that we use. The first would be Opus Clip. And Opus is really cool. All you gotta do is go to Opus Clip's website and then you paste in a YouTube link, or even upload a fully finished video file, and then Opus will automatically identify the most engaging parts of that video, add creative captions to them, and change the formatting for vertical viewing. Now, when you do this, you'll get a big batch of content, and truly not every one of those is going to be great, but what you do is filter through and snag your maybe top three or four clips, and then you can actually make some adjustments to them as well. So you can open up their editor, you can adjust your captioning style, maybe even add some content custom B-roll as well. And that just gives you a little bit more customization for your short that you really didn't have to spend a bunch of time on. Opus handled the majority of the work for you and then just dialed in your creative pieces at the very end. And without having to create a custom short, you have one ready to go. And then a similar tool to Opus Clip is another one that we recommend here at Think Media. It's called Submagic. And I actually have a full tutorial about how to use Submagic that we'll link in the description. And at its face value, it's very similar to Opus Clip. If I had to choose one, I probably would go with Submagic. I just like some of the more customization that you can do. And it feels a little more intuitive to me personally, but both of those options are great if you wanna save time making your repurposed content out of your long form video both are great options. Now there's a few AI tools that we use for YouTube strategy as well as planning our videos. One of them is vidIQ, which is a tool that we've been using for years. And what vidIQ does, it allows you to both brainstorm your video's ideas. There's something called daily video ideas. It'll look at your channel and determine what are some fresh videos that you can do for your channel, maybe some missing gaps that people are searching for. And the great thing about vidIQ and the way we use it is it really understands our audience and allows us to get a better footing on what kind of videos we wanna make. There's even a YouTube Studio plugin that you can add to your Studio dashboard inside of YouTube, and then vidIQ can instantly help you leveraging AI package up your content, making sure your title is optimized, that your end card has been created and that your description has all the important pieces. So it uses its AI assistant to just make sure all of your video content is just polished to its maximum capacity. It's just a really cool tool and we'll link it down in the description below. Another AI tool that we use constantly at Think Media, especially for writing and outlining our videos is ChatGBT. I use it to kind of brainstorm and flesh out my hook because it's such an important part of my video that I really wanna communicate what my video is about. I've also used it to outline my scripts so I can kind of brainstorm what I want my video to be like. I can even just speak to ChatGBT and then it'll give me a nice outline. We use it often to tighten up our titles. And we actually developed our own title generator GPT. This is actually something that our VRA members get included. But what's really cool is it knows all the prompts and all the feedback that is going to guarantee a great title. So you get clear clickable titles and you're not gonna get that generic ones that JatGPT will spit out if you don't prompt it correctly. If you want access to this title generator as well as a bunch of different tools to help you make better videos, then go to thinkmediasale.com and check out our holiday bundle. Now our next AI tool is one that really helps with your overall content planning for a specific video that you might be working on. And this tool is called Poppy AI. And truly one of the biggest bottlenecks for creators is just planning content where you're researching, you're building outlines and scripting videos, and even coming up with titles and thumbnails. Well, Poppy AI is a tool where you're able to sort of create a visual mind map style workspace where you can drop in YouTube links of competitor videos, 
or blog posts or PDFs and scripts, everything, and instantly organize everything into clear takeaways and next steps for whatever your next phase of your recording process would be. And within Poppy AI is also a bunch of different AI models. So you can leverage ChatGPT and Grok and Gemini and all of these different AI tools are built within side of Poppy AI and you use all of those to come up with your video concepts and just craft everything. And if this sounds complex, I actually have a full breakdown of this video and it's probably the most complex tool on our list, but it really does save me a ton of time. And instead of using five or six different AI tools, I actually can use just this one tool for my planning process and it's pretty cool. So those are the AI tools that save us over a hundred hours in the content creation process. And honestly, just choosing one or two of these will make your workflow faster and easier, and help you be more consistent. Links to all the tools mentioned will be in the description down below if you wanna try them out. If you wanna learn more tools, strategies, and tips for growing on YouTube, then be sure to check out this video on screen right up here.